There are still a lot of things we don't know about our universe. The universe is a mind-boggling place, and even if the planet we live on is a part of it, there are still a lot of things we're yet to discover about it. I mean, there are about a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. That means the solar system is one in a hundred billion, and soon this number might multiply tenfold. Can you imagine how huge the universe is? The fact that we're just a tiny speck in the galaxy is comforting and terrifying at the same time. For some, imagining the vastness of the universe makes them feel how insignificant their problems are. But for others, looking at the universe means facing the horror that our planet is the only one we're familiar with and capable of living in. If you're interested in knowing more about space, then watch on. From zombie stars to floating animals, here are 15 creepiest things seen in space. Number 15. Zombie Stars When I say zombie stars, I'm not talking about the ones you're already familiar with, not the undead that rose from their graves to haunt the living and eat their brains. I'm talking about a star that died and came back to life. So why exactly are these stars terrifying? You see, dead stars aren't supposed to come back to life. A zombie star is the result of a type of supernova, one of the biggest explosions that humans have ever seen. This explosion is so powerful and so bright that it can destroy any star. But instead of being destroyed, a zombie star defied the impossible and survived this big of an explosion. One of the zombie stars that we know today is a white dwarf known as LP40-635. I know it's a bit hard to remember, but naming them just like that makes it easy to keep track of the many stars in the universe. Aside from the fact that these stars made the impossible possible, Zombie stars also have the possibility to turn into vampire stars. You're probably wondering what's up with these terrifying nicknames, but they got their names for a reason. Just like the vampire we know, the vampire star can consume fuel and energy from a nearby star to fully revive itself. Sounds like something you'd see in a horror movie, isn't it? Who knew that stars also have monsters that come back to life only to feast on the living? What's more is that if the zombie star gets to be the size of a planet, it can cause a supernova to occur and destroy the original star that it fed on. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Chunks of the Milky Way are being sucked away. I don't mean to alarm you, but did you know that our galaxy, the Milky Way, is slowly being reshaped and deformed by an unknown force? As I've said earlier, the Milky Way is just one of the many galaxies in the universe. There are hundreds, thousands, millions, and even billions out there. According to researchers, the Milky Way is being pushed across the universe by this unseen force. Not only that, but hundreds of other galaxies are being drawn towards this mysterious force as well. And because of that, it's been called the Great Attractor. This unseen force was first detected back in the 1970s. The researchers first noted that our universe is slowly becoming different from the original model they've created. And when they checked, they were made aware of this unseen force. Now fast forward after several years, researchers discovered more than 800 galaxies crowded together near this force. They called this area the zone of avoidance. Imagining hundreds of galaxies can be pretty terrifying, but as much as pushing and dragging someone isn't a friendly gesture, this unseen force is actually helping the Milky Way. According to the researchers, this pushing and dragging just further helps our galaxy to further expand in the universe, which is perfectly normal. Number 13. Eye of Sauron When I said Eye of Sauron, you probably imagined something else. You've probably thought of a book written by J.R.R. Tolkien, but I'm not talking about that. Did you know that there's a giant eye watching you from the universe? What you are looking at is the central region of the spiral galaxy NGC 4151, more popularly known as the Eye of Sauron. It's kind of similar to the malevolent and evil character that you know from Tolkien's book. Just like its name, the Eye of Sauron is equally menacing to look at. It looks like it's an eye rimmed with fire, and it looks like it can easily suck you into the void. But if you disregard its appearance, it's just still a part of a galaxy millions of light years away from Mars. However, there is one terrifying thing about it. NGC 4151 might be about 43 million light years away from our planet, but it's one of the nearest galaxies that has been forming a black hole. Now that fact is terrifying. Number 12. Gamma Ray Bursts 
Remember when I told you that supernovas are the most powerful explosion known to man? Well, there is another contender, gamma ray bursts. A gamma ray burst will produce the same amount of energy as a supernova, but instead of weeks, it can take minutes or even seconds for all of the energy to be unleashed. It's not really hidden that even our own planet will soon die. But of course, that's still far, far, far away from now. Hopefully. Just kidding. According to researchers, the Earth still has at least 1.5 billion years left, or even more to support life. That's a little bit more comforting. So should we be worried about these super strong gamma ray bursts? According to researchers, a gamma ray burst may have hit the Earth in the 8th century, but we aren't that sure. Some hypothesize that perhaps we've been hit by a blast of radiation during the Middle Ages, but we're still unsure whether a gamma ray burst is the one that caused it. There's also a theory that perhaps the Ordovician extinction, which was one of the five biggest mass extinctions that occurred in the history of our planet, was caused by a gamma ray burst. So should we be worried that a gamma ray burst could affect our planet? Good news! You don't really need to worry about the gamma ray burst, or GRB for short. The chances that this will occur are pretty low, and that's because GRBs occur so far away from us that there is practically no chance that we would be affected by one. Number 11. Watchers from Space Knowing that someone out there is stalking and observing us without our knowledge is a pretty terrifying fact to know. Well, according to some scientists, there's a chance that perhaps we've already been spotted by other life forms in the universe without us knowing. There are billions of galaxies out there, we know that much. But what we can't confirm is whether life exists outside our planet. From the number of planets alone, it doesn't seem far-fetched to think that aside from humans, there are other life forms in the universe. There have been several times when researchers thought that aliens contacted us. For instance, one article from 1920 stated that we've received a signal from the other planets, but this claim has never been confirmed. We did try to be civil though, and we even wrote a cosmic greeting card just in case someone was listening to us somewhere in space. But so far, we still haven't received any answers. Number 10. Ghost Hand of God What you're looking at is the Hand of God, but not literally. This is a photo of nebula energy that left many people baffled because of its appearance. Looking at it, it looks like some kind of hand, and because it was so massive, it was deemed as the hand of God. It might be hard to spot in some images, but take a closer look at this one. If you look closely enough, you can see that the orange or golden structure looks like a hand reaching out. Despite being known as the hand of God, this is actually what's left of a star that exploded. A pulsar known as PSR B1509-58 is the one responsible for this hand-looking phenomenon. This pulsar was said to be about 12 miles in diameter, and it's spinning around almost 7 times per second. A pulsar is a spherical-looking object that's about the size of a large city, but there are actually two steady narrow beams of light traveling in opposite directions. They also spin around, which makes them look like they're blinking if you observe them from afar. Just imagine the light coming from a lighthouse. Number 9. Black Holes Black Holes. What do you think about whenever you hear about them? I bet that most of you are thinking of a black void that sucks everything in its wake. But what exactly is a black hole, and why are they so terrifying? A black hole isn't really empty, contrary to what many might think. Rather, a black hole contains a great amount of energy, and it's packed into a very small area. Basically speaking, a black hole is a very dense and very massive object, so much so that the gravity it generates won't let anything escape from it, not even light, and especially not planets. After so many years, scientists and researchers have finally managed to capture what a black hole looks like. You see, they look pretty weird, and they're full of mysteries. No one knows what would happen if you got sucked into one, but there are a few theories. Some say that you would immediately die, while some say that you would get transported to an alternate universe. But a popular theory is that you would just fall into a hole, and as you do so, billions and billions of years would pass, when in reality, you would have journeyed only for a couple of hours. Theoretically, no one and nothing can escape the black hole, but thankfully we don't really need to worry about them, at least not for the foreseeable future. Number 8. The Stars Sing did you know that the stars sing a pretty eerie song? They're not literally singing, but the biggest stars make the lowest, deepest sounds. 
deeper than the lowest notes that you would hear in any orchestra. The smallest stars make the highest notes, like celestial flutes. If we had the capacity to hear them, we would probably already know there is harmony going on in space. A group of astronomers from the University of Birmingham School of Physics and Astronomy managed to hear the stars singing. Well, not literally, because they only managed to capture the sound the stars created using specialized technology. And instead of listening, they discovered the sound by observing the oscillations which led to changes in the star's brightness. Basically speaking, the song of the stars has been heard by the researchers by observing light. Quite mind-boggling, I know. Number 7. Face on Mars Take a look at this image. This is a photo captured by the Viking 1 mission. This photograph was captured on the surface of the planet Mars in 1976. When it was first published, it immediately caught the attention of millions of people across the world. And you probably already know why. If you look closely, you'll see that one of the rocks on the surface looks like a human face. This intriguing landform was spotted in the region of Mars called Sidonia. Aside from the fact that it looks like a human face, there's actually nothing more about it. However, for months, this photo gave hope to mankind that there really is life on the red planet. But sadly, these ideas have been shut down by researchers. Might be disappointing, but hey, isn't it much scarier if the face really did belong to someone or something? Number 6. Gliese 581 Recently, a planet was found called Gliese 581g, and it was considered a groundbreaking discovery. Gliese 581g was even called the Goldilocks planet because it was said to be just right. It wasn't too hot or too cold, which made it the perfect candidate for our new home. The idea that we have a new planet to live on is incredible, but after several types of research about this planet, many have been disappointed when they realize that the planet doesn't actually have the right temperature. We aren't even 100% sure that we can live on this planet. The Gliese 581 is about 100 trillion miles away from our planet. And while it's about the same size as our planet, between three and four times the mass of Earth, we still don't know if we can live on it. Sadly, we still don't know whether there's actually already life on this planet, or if we're the first to try. Number 5. Star that's 1,500 times larger than the Sun What's the largest star in our solar system? If you answered the Sun, then you get the correct answer. The Sun is actually pretty big, and it makes up 99.8% of the total mass of our solar system. To give you another comparison, about 110 Earths need to be combined to make up the entirety of the Sun. But did you know that there are actually bigger stars out there? Far more enormous than our Sun? I'm talking about 10 to 15 to 100 times larger. Some of them, even thousands. You see, recently, scientists discovered a red supergiant, and it's not too far away from us. This region is in the corner of the Milky Way, the same galaxy we reside in, and it's just about 15,000 light years away. That's still pretty far, but that's for our own benefit. You see, this giant is 1,500 times larger than the Sun. This enormous star is known as the Westerlin One, and compared to our Sun, it's relatively young. Our Sun is about 4.6 billion years old, but Westerlin One is only about 3 million years old. And now it's time for today's topic. It's hard to believe that some things exist in space, just like the face on Mars. It might be an illusion, but if NASA didn't capture it, no one would believe it. Now take a look at this image. From the billions of galaxies out there, it's quite impossible to believe that we're the only living creatures in the entire universe. For countless years, we've tried to search for anything, even the slightest sign of life out there. But so far, we haven't found any solid proof that we're not alone. But if there really is life out there, don't you think that they would be far more advanced than us? Or perhaps they might be new life that's only in the beginning of developing and growing. But what if we've already found life and it hasn't just entered the consciousness of the public yet? For now, we can only speculate. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Real Shooting Stars They say that whenever you see a shooting star across the night sky, you gotta make a wish and it'll surely come true. Shooting stars are mostly seen as something romantic and hopeful. But you see, shooting stars actually exist. But I'm not talking about the streaks you see in a clear night sky. Now I want you to think about jet planes. 
These aircraft zoom across the sky at high speeds. Just like them, a shooting star is something quite similar. A shooting star happens when a normal star leaves a very long contrail across the sky. For instance, one star called Mira has left a long tail of dust and gas that's very long. I'm not talking about 100 miles long. I'm talking about 13 light years long. For comparison, that's about 20,000 times longer than the usual distance of Pluto to our Sun. Now we all know that Pluto has been kicked out of the official planets in our solar system, but some of you guys probably lived during the years when Pluto was still officially the ninth planet and the one furthest from our Sun. So in reality, shooting stars aren't actually so romantic, and instead, they're just real stars in the galaxy leaving trails of dust and gas in their wake. Number 3. Dead Galaxies Did you know that while we found a lot of galaxies in our universe, we also found several of them that were already dead? NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in the Atacama Large Millimeter in northern Chile discovered a galaxy that ran out of the cold hydrogen gas it needed to create stars. Several other galaxies across the universe have been found to be the same. In this phenomena, these dead galaxies ran out of fuel to make stars. They're dubbed as the Fast and the Furious. They might have been massive, but it's surprising that during their early years, when they were still supposed to be growing, they died out. These galaxies lived fast and furious lives, and they died before they could reach their prime. You see, without more fuel to form stars, they're pretty much dead. Number 2. Glass Rain The universe truly is a weird place, and reading about it makes you think how amazing it is that we're alive. Everything on Earth is pretty much familiar to us at this point. We've already studied almost every phenomena on our planet, and while there's still some that we can't quite explain, we already have a pretty good understanding of the planet that we live on. The more you know about what exists beyond our planet, the more you question reality and life itself. It's a bit hard to imagine, but try to think about glass rain instead of the usual rainwater, molten glass rains instead. Pretty terrifying, right? This is actually a reality in a blue marble alien planet about 60 light years away from Earth. This is one of the planets that's pretty impossible to find life on. I mean, can you imagine life existing on a planet where it literally rains molten glass? This planet is called HD 189733b. The super hot glass rain is caused by the sun near the blue planet, which is about 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. This deadly weather will surely have no mercy on any form of life. I mean, the winds on this planet are pretty much lethal silicate particles that blow up to a staggering 5,400 miles per hour. So yeah, this blue planet is pretty much a terror planet compared to the life-giving atmosphere of ours. Number 1. Floating Animals Alright, this is a pretty sad story rather than a creepy one, so brace yourselves a little. Do you know who's the first person that ever went to space? That's right, Yuri Gagarin. And what about the first ever human that stepped foot on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Then what about the first animal in space? I wouldn't be surprised if you don't know. This is Laika. She boarded a rocket that orbited the Earth, involuntarily. Of course, an animal doesn't have the capacity to verbally consent. So Laika was sent to space to be one of the first living creatures to orbit the Earth. This sounds like a very prestigious honor. But in reality, Laika is only one of the many animals sent to space and they were sent off without the expectation of them coming back. To date, we've sent a variety of animals into space, including cats, ants, frogs, monkeys, and even jellyfish. And yet, many of them died before having the chance to re-enter our planet's atmosphere. And in many cases, the spacecraft in which the animals flew have never been recovered, which led many researchers to think that there are abandoned ships out there, and in them are the animals we've sent from our planet, lifeless and alone. So are you terrified of the universe yet? Also, do you know other creepy facts about the universe? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.